going on? It's me, Ashley Marie, and I want to say thank you for tuning into another one of my videos. And I also want to say Happy New Year. Today is January 1st, 2020, and I wanted to start my year off right by giving you guys more content. So, today's video is going to be somewhat of a DIY video for something that every nail tech needs, every photographer, blogger, Instagrammer. It's something that um, just helps you like put the little mwah, je ne sais quoi, <laughs> <They fuck. laughs> on um, your posts, your pictures, things like that. As a nail tech, it's something that I constantly wish I had or had when I was posting pictures of a set that I did or posting products that I just got. Just it's just something that um, it's always really good for the aesthetic of your idea, your brand, your company, whatever. So today we're going to be making our own DIY background table drop kind of situation. Um, like I said, I'm a nail tech, as you probably already know, <laughs> um, and when I'm posting pictures of hands and sets and different services that I've recently done, I always hate the look of like a dirty table or a dirty counter, anything that just doesn't look professional or like crisp and like kind of seals the deal, um, I just hate it. So what you'll need are a pair of scissors, any kind. I got these from Rite Aid, um, pair of scissors. You'll need tape. It doesn't have to be anything fancy this is just going to help us um keep our our base together you want to use a um contact paper that is if anything like waterproof um if you can find that definitely waterproof because we in a nail tech we have spills and drops and things like that and you never want to get something that isn't waterproof and you're dealing with liquids and different products because if you spill something on it, it can be ruined. So this is um, contact paper that I got from Amazon. I know the lights are kind of covering so you can't see too much, but it is a marble print and it is waterproof, which is awesome for me as a nail tech. And just some type of empty box or cardboard. Um, so this box is my dust collector that I got from Amazon. Oh. Um, that's what we're using today. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a standard box, nothing special, nothing crazy. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to collapse the box. So if you can see right here, you have your little pieces right here that are holding it together so nothing falls out. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like kind of <laughs> push our hand through to open it up and there you go the box is now open now what you're going to do next the reason why we have the tape is because you're going to slightly shift the box once it's flat it's a little firmer because it has both sides of the box together so what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to take our pair of scissors and we're just going to cut down any excess box that we can't really do anything with now even though it has the little ridgy pieces that are different we kind of still can use it so we might okay so what we'll do is we'll for sure cut this side because it's really just one piece of board and one flat whereas though on the other side I'm kind of thinking if I want to hold on to it just because the extra pieces do still line up to where it's though it's still nice and firm so we're going to take it our scissors and we're just going to cut off the excess have a box can be tucked back inside the box so you don't have to cut them but this piece it could be tucked into the inside of the box as well but it would make it kind of like an uneven kind of level if we tucked this piece in so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut 
it off. <laughs> So we're going to tape that, and that's when we take our tape. We're going to use our tape to <laughs> just sandwich everything together. Because as you can see, because it's a box and it was folded up as a box in that shape for so long, it kind of, um, it isn't flat. It pushes out. It's like push through, mama. I get what the kids say. Push through, mama. <laughs> no, no, no. But you just want to keep going around the box, taking some tape just to kind of reinforce it and stick it together. And then also, the reason why I didn't want to really cut this piece off, I didn't want to cut those tabs and stuff off, is because even though it's a box and... We want everything to be even. If the, if you did have something that was just a perfect box, like I know Amazon boxes, they're just straight lines taped together. They're not tucked in to keep them closed. You could just collapse that and it would give you like a perfect square or rectangle. So you wouldn't even have to cut. But because this box was a little different, um, you know, we gotta work with what we have. Now granted, I'm an Amazon fanatic, but a lot of my packages or my orders have been really small. So I've been getting the little pouches and not boxes. So as you can see, it's a lot flatter. I want to make it too small to where as though when you take a picture, the table that it's sitting on or it's underneath is showing. You want it to be big enough to where as though, like I want this box to be big as so to where as though I can have a set of hands on it and it look good and you not see the table that I'm sitting on or the countertop that I'm sitting on. So once we so then you want to take your contact paper. And I did get this from Amazon. So I got mine from Amazon. I believe it was like I want to say 10 bucks. And I still in my heart it was 10 bucks. When it comes to contact paper, it was hard. Um, it does have these little graphs on the bottom to kind of help you get like an even kind of layout. Really? Because I'm me. Fuck the lines. I don't really care about the lines. Solely because oh, what we're doing is really simple. So you want to find the side of the paper, the board that is going to be your front board. Granted. If you have a box that is like just squares, once you collapse it like a sandwich, it'll be even. But because this one is a little different, I want ooh, I want to have this side be my front. So you just want to roll out your paper, to roll out your paper, and just see how much you need. Now, granted. It's, it's contact paper and contact paper is very sticky. So you just kind of want to be careful with how you apply it. For me, because my desk isn't the biggest, um, I'm not going to do the whole, pull the whole roll out and kind of wrap it. I'm just going to do size at a time. So basically, and this also will save you um, product, like contact paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm just looking at it and this looks like it would be enough to just securely cover the front. So we're gonna go to this line right here. I hope I think you guys can see it. You see the 50? We're gonna go a little bit above that and just cut that line right there. Cut, 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 cut. I can't hit nothing nice. I'm all ripping it. <laughs> and we're going to just sit it to the side to give us some space. Now, like I said, contact paper is very sticky once you peel off the back piece. And then you also, now you're going to mm, peel. There y'all know. Let me show that. So you see right here. Oh, I hope you guys can see. 
it's that's where you would peel off so because I have nails it's a lot hard it's sometimes harder okay wasn't really hard at all so that's that's our stickiness so this gridded paper is what is used to help people cut straight and get the right portions but it also protects our stickiness so remember this what side was our front this was our front so now after we've measured it we're just going to lay it flat down and we're going to oh. fill just the kind of top part of this box of the paper nothing not the whole paper we just want to get that first sticky part because we want to be able to stick it to our board to kind of get us started so right here you see i separated it and we're just going to stick that towards the edge once you get that first piece on you just want to kind of roll out any air bubbles you may see because no one wants air bubbles and then you're going to while your while your hand is still on part of your your box it just wants to stick to my table so bad um, while your hand is still holding this down to hold, kind of secure it, you're going to flip it over your arm and you're going to grip the, the protective paper and you're just going to slide it. And with contact paper, you can kind of lift up if you have any air bubbles. This stinks. And you're just gonna roll it. And the good thing is when you put your finger on like a little bubble, for the most part, <laughs> some of them will kind of just go out and the air will just go out. It smells so bad, you guys. And if you can see any bubbles. Now, granted, right here, this is the ridge from the um, the box. But then I also have some little air bubble pockets on the board. But listen, I can't get rid of them. <laughs> it's too late. And sometimes you can just, like, go back to the corner. Lift that up to get that bubble out. And then... Roll it out, baby. And you just want to smooth it out. And then you want to fold it like if you were folding like a little present. When you get to the back like this, right? This other side, we're just going to fold over. Now, when you get to the back, you want to kind of cut these folded pieces off so that it's able to stick to the other side of the board. Just go along, pull that bad boy up, and just like you would with a gift, we're going to fold and collapse. Strangers on the run, looking for something, chasing the sun. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now you have your own cute backdrop. So there you go. And that is it, you guys. Um, it's pretty simple. It took us about 18 minutes to finish it because we were talking and, you know, take, trying to take our time. But um, that's what it looks like. This is going to be great for if you're trying to sit some products down and you want to display them really nice you would take a picture and it would look like it's sitting on a marble counter but yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i do want to do more diy projects for nail techs because there are so many things that we need that are extremely expensive so here you go bye
guys.